new tonight. Two Downey men are free from prison after being wrongfully convicted of murder. NBC4's Darsha Phillips joins us live in the newsroom right now sharing their story tonight. Darsha. Yeah, Colleen, two innocent men spent years in prison waiting for this moment, the day they would be exonerated. District Attorney George Gascon has overturned 12 wrongful convictions since taking office. Attorneys for the men today saying it was a hard-fought battle, but justice was finally served. 23 years of, of missing birthdays and missing missing Christmases. Ronald Velasquez spent 23 years behind bars for a crime he did not commit, and today he was exonerated. It was a process that took a long time, but I'm so thankful to God that, that, that I'm home and that I, uh, I made it out. The Conviction Integrity Unit and District Attorney George Gascon investigated the evidence and fought to have a judge hear the findings in court. That judge found Velasquez and his co-defendant Abram Villalobos factually innocent. I'm speechless. I, I, it's all right here. I can't. I can't, I can't express it. Villalobos went to prison when he was 21 years old and served 15 years before he was paroled and then deported to Mexico. He said his family always stood by him, but today any doubt they may have had was finally erased. For them to hear it and know that it never happened, that's a great feeling. Velasquez and Villalobos were convicted of a shooting in Downey that killed a 15-year-old. A witness identified Velasquez and Villalobos as the shooters, despite initially saying he could not see the gunman. There was one shooter, and it was a case of mistaken identity, and it turned out that the real shooter had admitted his wrongdoing. Both men say the road to being exonerated was long, and at times they didn't think it would ever happen. But the attorneys and their families never gave up on them. There's people that will, will fight for you, and, you know, they believe in you, and that's what it takes. Now, the Downey Police Department investigated this case back in 2000 and released a statement saying they disagree with the exoneration and are disappointed with the DA's decision. Live in the newsroom tonight, I'm Darsha Phillips, NBC4 News.